Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is March 17, 2019. Now this is the home of the two minute price prediction as well as give me all the news according to the charts. If you can tell by the thumbnail that you all just clicked on, we're talking about how the Model Y for Tesla disappointed and how the stock fell and how that we on our last video which was done on the 11th of March anticipated Tesla stock to continue to move to the downside. So this wasn't a surprise for us to see uh, Tesla shares continue to move lower in price. We anticipated that to happen on March the 11th. OK, so the, the price chart continuing to show us that weakness is apparent in this particular company and that lower prices are still anticipated for Tesla stock. OK, we're going to go ahead and look at this article written by Martin Watch. Uh, posted to the internet today, March 17, 2019. Uh, before we get into that, I definitely want you all to continue to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you all go ahead and like and share because what we're doing, we are the only organization giving you the news according to the charts right before the price action occurs for these particular instruments. So again, we will have a link in the description of this video if you all want to continue to read this article. And it just gives you some points as to why uh, the unveiling of the Model Y did not bring any enthusiasm to the stock market for this particular company. So the title of it reads Tesla's introduction to the Model Y underwhelms and stock promptly falls. Now, some investors were saying that the unveiling of the crossover vehicle played out like an infomercial that sought to mask weaker Model 3 demand and a cash grab. Tesla shares lost 5% on Friday to close at their lowest since October 22nd. They are down more than 6% from the moment that CEO Elon Musk announced the vehicle's availing date on Twitter and off nearly 30% from the September 2017 record high. Okay, now this Model Y, the crossover, the expensive package will cost around $47,000. And ordering one requires a $2,500 deposit, which is more than what Tesla required at the time of his Model 3 reveal. Production of the car of the Model Y is expected to start in late 2020. That's almost two years from today's date of that $47,000 car. And you need to put down a $2,500 deposit and you won't get a vehicle until the late 2020. That doesn't even make any sense within itself. Now, the standard range of the Model Y, which is a cheaper vehicle, is expected to roll out the factory in early 2021 and cost about $39,000. Uh, now, this is Tony Saganagi. He states, we remain concerned about the manufacturing timeline. And a lot of people are. If it's going to take almost two years before the first Model Y hits the streets, the late 2020 goal appears similar to the Model 3s and ultimately the Model 3 was delayed 9 to 12 months. So we already have prior history of Tesla delivering its first cars off the showroom 4 and even then for the Model 3 it took 9 to 12 months extended time in order before we saw that vehicle being produced. So who's to say that the Model Y won't be the same thing this go around? The more expensive deposit may also stoke bearish sentiment on Tesla's cash situation. This is what Saganagi said. Ordering a Model 3 at the time of its launch required only $1,000. So we got an increase of $1,500 deposit for the Model Y, which in fact, he does make a point that it does signify that there may be a cash situation occurring at that particular company. This is what Joseph Spack said. He works for RBC Capital Markets. Model Y orders could be muted. The vehicle isn't available for nearly two years and consumers may realize that putting down money early for the Model 3 didn't yield any or many benefits. So the people who put down the deposit early for the Model 3 when it actually took nine to 12 extra months before they actually received a vehicle didn't get really any benefits from that deposit. So why would you increase your deposit just to be kind of led to seeing the same situation of the Model 3 being delayed in this production? So are you willing to give 
more deposited money understanding that the previous history of the model 3 didn't reveal many benefits unlike previous unveilings there was no one more thing that many people expected spec also questioned tesla's strategy of showing the vehicle now versus unveiling it closer to the start of production which is verily true because you're unveiling it now and it's going to be about two years do you really think the market in tesla is going to absorb that demand from now all the way from two years later when there's going to be multiple competitors entering the landscape for ev vehicles the model y launch event was likely pulled forward to distract from weak demand for the model 3. this is what everyone is trying to insinuate now in order to recover the weakness that is currently being seen in the market for tesla they're going to have to deliver on the demand of the vehicles they're going to have to deliver for the unit growth this is what the roth analyst said that's in their view the night of the model y unveiling held no surprises and played like an infomercial for tesla without the one more thing moment said jeffrey osborne at cohen there wasn't no demand slowdowns no model s or model x refresh no color around the first quarter results anything we believe the event was more of a capital raising effort and branding exercise we do not see the new model y igniting elevated demand or enthusiasm for the tesla brand this is what many of the analysts who cover this particular stock are saying right now so of course we're going to go ahead and take a look at the price chart because our main focus here at Houston news is the price chart and it should insinuate and show us what they're trying to state in this article and if they are in fact correct meaning that they're seeing weakness we should be able to see that on the price chart for tesla so let's go ahead and look at this chart for tesla right now and here we are i want to start out a little further out start on the weekly time frame for tesla real quick and our last video we anticipated the stock market for tesla to continue to move to the downside we understood that we said that that 280 literally was like the last area of support for this particular stock and we definitely have broken below that particular price so downside pressure is still here in the market for tesla okay now it has already came last week and held that 270 support area very very minor support area but there is still anticipation of this stock continue to move to the downside uh, there's no indication that strength is coming in this particular space not at this particular moment so we're still seeing indication that tesla is going to continue to move lower 260 uh, about to 250 dollars will literally be the last place for tesla to maintain its long-term trajectory of higher prices so we have two more support areas that tesla needs to hold in order to keep its ability to maintain its strength of going higher in price long term so right now we're still expecting tesla to continue to move to the downside uh 260 maybe around a 250 240 dollar price area is where we're expecting tesla to try to find support going forward now as we go throughout the rest of 2019 and we see tesla continue to break those support areas that i've just mentioned then this market will continue to move a lot lower in price and those previous analysts on the videos we've done for tesla uh, becomes more likely of them anticipating tesla to fall 70 percent to trade below 100 dollars by the end of 2019 so right now there isn't any indications of strength entering the market for tesla the anticipation is still for the stock to continue to move to the downside and we have identified 260 and 250 as literally the last area for this particular stock to hold support you can tell that this particular stock is estimated to have its earnings day on the 3rd of may 2019 so we have a ways away before that occurs and that definitely most likely will be a very volatile day for tesla shares so now monthly price chart again we're still seeing indications of market weakness there's no strength being revealed in this particular space our eyes are focused on 260 to 250 240 240 dollars okay so 
according to this article according to the price chart yes they are both correlated they both are in agreement regarding the the sentiment of this particular stock it is still anticipated that it will continue to move to the downside we're looking at 260 to 240 dollars as support areas initially and then going forward if we maintain weakness on this particular stock it will go a lot lower than that okay so that's our analysis give us your perspective okay leave us a comment as to what you think Tesla's is going to do going forward for 2019 do you think the model y is going to be uh, is true bell ringer rather than the model three let us know that as well make sure y'all maintain your profitability and guess what go ahead and check out our hughfinancial.com webpage uh, we got more information pertaining to the news according to the charts for other stocks cryptocurrencies commodities whatever the case may be it is there on our website make sure you all maintain your profitability and i will see you later